Hey everyone, Steve here from My Crypto World. Welcome back. Uh, today with very, very fast video, just recapping where the cycle is at the moment in the market and what you're going to do, whether it goes bullish or bearish. All that right after this. Okay, let's have a look at the total market cap as we always do uh, in these videos. Uh, today we're not going to be covering any news stories, I just want to talk to you about the direction the market might be going. <clears throat> um, as you can see on our last cycle, which ended yesterday, we had pretty much a third of the cycle moving upwards and the last third uh, moving downwards. Now if we have a look at where we were in the bullish, uh, when we were in the bullish area, let me go to a different clicker here. When we were going through our bullish phase um, back in 2020 uh, and early, early 2021, you can see that a lot of the cycles followed the same pattern. That is, they went for 30 days, but the first third of that, so the first 20 days, was up while the last 10 days fell down. And that happened over and over again on each cycle that uh, unfolded. Uh, you can see here, uh, we went up that one went up actually for the entire 30 days, but the majority of them actually went up for a little while, then came back down. Up for 10, uh, 20 days, then down for 10. Up for 20 days, then down for 10. Uh, up for 20 days, then down for 10. Up for 20 days, then down for 10. Until we hit this bearish moment. Now what we're seeing in the marketplace is a reversal of the bearish. Now we're pretty much in a sense, even though it's gone up and down through this, almost a sideways pattern overall. Um, and we can see now that this last cycle that we're in at the moment has gone up for 20 days, roughly, and then down for 10. Actually, this cycle has shortened. It's only been about a 25-day cycle. But the most important thing is any, with any cycle is if it's going to be a bullish cycle, you want to see the first two-thirds bullish or the last third or last portion of that cycle becomes bearish. Now, what's really interesting to me and what... I guess in a sense excites me is where the market's going to go after this. Um, the reason it's exciting is because although the market has come up and come back down, which everyone hates, it's actually fallen right on a beautiful resistance line here, the orange resistance line at $1.75 trillion. And it's just trading about around about that at the moment. So if, if you're wanting a perfect setup uh, where the market has got strong stability and it's got, a, in a sense, a solid platform from to launch from, this would be it. If we have a look at how the market has developed over the last six months, it's actually come down. And if you go back to the previous videos I've posted about how the market finds natural support and resistance lines, it came down to the $1.484 trillion mark, found that resistance line beautifully, bounced up off of that, showed great strength when it broke through the orange resistance line at 1.75 and then again at 1.866 trillion and then it's come back down but it's now resting on the floor of the 1.75 trillion dollar mark. So really as an investor and as a trader what you've got to determine is what are you going to do based on what the market does from here. Now the truth is it can go three different ways. The first way is that we can have another nice rise for maybe uh, 20 days and then down for 20. We could have a, a bearish rise where it might go up for 10 and then down for 20. Or it may do nothing and it may actually just travel sideways for a while. So again, uh, I can't predict the market. Nobody can predict the market. What you've got to do is set yourself up financially and also emotionally about where the market's at and what you're going to do uh, based on the next cycle of the next 30 days of where you're going to see things and what you're going to how you're going to react if it moves up and it's really nice and bullish uh, you know will you will you ride that portion up and then get out as the market turns bearish again before it finds another resistance level to to, to uh, land on um, if it's a bearish signal you know will you wait till it hits a it might, it's possible it may come back up hit the 1.866 um, resistance line here and then fall back through beyond that? Will you wait for that to happen before selling out? Um, or will you hold on no matter what it does? It, you know, it's everyone's very different. If you're a trader and you're wanting to make really quick money and, and fast gains and you know, you'd be looking to get in and out of the, the any crypto that you're trading in at the moment, remember we're talking about the total market cap here, not one individual crypto. 
Um, so if you're wanting to do that, then you know, you've, you've got to weigh that up if that's uh, what your action plan is going to be. If you're more like me, more of a trade, uh, sorry, more of an investor, I don't really care which way the market goes, to be honest. I'm always dollar cost averaging in, um, and I'm just waiting for the day where the market turns and starts going really strong and really bullish again, as it's done many, many times in the past, which we've discussed in um, this video before. Where So not this video, but my previous videos uh, in the past. You can see here we had a beautifully bu beautiful bullish run from uh, around about March 2020 all the way up to uh, its high here. Uh, back in May 2021 so you know over 12 months and then obviously we had this beautiful run up as well way back in 2017 which actually is going to be easier for me to show you in a squashed screen uh, that uh, area there as well so again who knows where the market will go uh, it could go either way um, but the point of this video is I guess to get yourself set up for whatever way the market turns, make sure you're ready to take action if you are somebody that's going to take action. If you're an investor like me, then you don't really mind. It's just very interesting to watch how the market unfolds. Uh, that's it for this video. As I said, short and sweet. I hope your week is a good week. Take care of yourself and each other, and we'll see you in the next video.